everyone. So I am doing a review on my boots and also we'll be comparing them with a, another pair of boots which belongs to my sister. So this video is uh, going to be mainly reviewing the Dublin Intensity Pull-On Jodhpur Boots um, which I hold in my uh, Christmas birthday whole, uh, whole video and I got these for my birthday so I have had these since January and I've ridden them, them probably 15 to 20 times so I do um, I have gotten some use from them and um, you know can make a video can make a review video for you guys so hopefully this helps out if um, if with sorry helps out helps you out if you're thinking about picking out a new pair of boots or uh, perhaps considering this pair of boots so um, the other pair of boots is uh, the Dublin Defy pull on jodhpur boots and just so you know jodhpur boots is just another word for paddock boots so I'll probably call them paddock boots uh, just because I'm more used to saying that, but uh, the other pair is the Dublin Defy pull on drop boots. So this is the intensity, the intensity, and uh, the reason these look a lot more shiny is because I just cleaned them. These ones aren't belong to my sister, and I don't think she's ever polished her her boots. But I polish my boots after every use, just because I love these things and I want them to look nice and pretty. <laughs> My sister, however, probably rides like once every few months because she only rides um, Monty and Mason when, like very, very occasionally when I am helping her out. But anyway, at first glance, apart from the shininess, these look very, very, very similar. One of the um, differences that you can see um, is just the uh, tabs. Um, Pull on tabs. These ones are obviously of the webbing ribbon material, and this is a leather one, and it doesn't have one up here. Other than that, there's not really much you can see. This does look a little bit neater on the seams. Um, other than that, very, very, very similar. They both have sort of the same look at the back. Uh, the bottom. Is just this one is red and this is obviously a grey and uh, just one thing when actually holding these these ones are a lot a lot heavier than these ones these are a very lightweight this is much much heavier and that's just to do with the heel technology which is why these are a bit more expensive so the Dublin Defy pull-ons Retail for $109.95, I believe, and these ones are $159.95, um, full price, that's just full price for these guys. Um, they both come in a zip option, and they both come, they are both available uh, in black and brown, so uh, the zip option is... $20 more expensive for both of them I believe um, but then you know, again that's just another option for you to research but the actual boot structure is virtually the same I well, is the same as the zip to the pull on not these two are not the same but anyway so these ones are a cheaper option uh, they are different but um, I've never ridden in these, they're my sister's, she does like them and I do know for a fact that Dublin boots hold up very well, so these are definitely a very classy looking option if you are uh, keeping these in mind, so I am reviewing these however, so I'll just let you know, so these ones just at first glance. Um, the differences that um, I mentioned before, the fact that this has a leather instead of the others. I have had another pair of D 
Dublin boots, which were just, I believe, the the cheapest ones you can get, which were just all one piece. I had them for a few years before it happened, but eventually the um, pull-on bits, the tabs ripped off when they were the material ones. Um, whereas the leather, this actually is attached to the boot all the way down, so you can't rip this off when you're pulling on your boots. So I know that if your boots, if you're wearing like thick socks and stuff, it can be hard to get your boots on. And when you just pull on the tab, it can rip off. So this will definitely stop my boots getting broken. Um, excuse me. And they look basically the same other than that. So looks wise, it's basically the same. The leather on both of them is extremely, extremely soft and very good quality. Um, very comfortable inside and uh, although they feel quite heavy when you first put them on, especially in the heel, uh, after the first wear you get really used to it and um, it's extremely comfortable from, from the word go really. So I just have some tags from it which I thought would help you, um, help me tell you what their thing, their, its uh, qualities are I guess. And I'm sorry this is my second time making the video, the first time I just, it was not well, it was not well, it was not good. But anyway, hopefully my camera is focusing on me, I turned the flash off because it was blinding me but anyway. So these ones do have the positive stirrup traction, which is on the bottom, and these really do um, help with um, grippy. So even if your stirrups don't have um, rubber stirrup treads, these really feel really grippy and they don't slip out at all. Oops, sorry. Uh, they have... Um, Industrial strength rubber outsole, out internal heel shock absorbing cushion, which really does um, help. These are really extremely comfortable and the, the um, inner sole thing is extremely comfortable. Let me take it out. Um, and that's this. So it's got like the um, extra like shock, this bit here is the shock absorber thing. Um, which really, really helps. So it says, this is like the little thing, and um, these are high real, high rebound pods apparently, and uh, the shock absorbing is also in here, and this has got, got cushioning here. So the actual inner sole is specially designed with many, many ways. <laughs> And it also has odour controlling technology, which is always great, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that that was extremely interesting. But anyway, they also have a, um, the Ortholite system, which, um, is the odour controlling technology and also for cooler airflow. So if you're in a hot Australian summer or wherever you are, these definitely keep you a bit more cool. But they have the positive stirrup traction um, PST, which is the um, thing I already talked about. And then they have a lateral support out, outrigger, outrigger, motion stability, external lateral and medial outsole assist in strengthening and supporting the foot in a correct position. Excuse me. So yeah, these really have like a, I don't know what it is, I am not a boot designer or any sort of expert here. I'm just trying to help you guys. But this thumb magic thing goes into this boot and really works it really works these are really heavy in the heel it helps you keep your foot down your heel down sorry um, and it stops your heels from like moving around like these are really like I don't know if I can do it but you can't move them like if you can see what I'm doing like you can't they really keep your feet still like here's your heel like it stops you from going like 
that like I don't know I would get my foot up here and like show you but whatever um so yeah these really a hundred percent I love these boots they I have no complaints whatsoever these are extremely comfortable do what they say they're going to do they help you keep your foot in the correct position uh, definitely not the cheapest boots, you, of, there's cheaper models in the same Dublin range and also there's other brands you can look at but I went with these ones, uh, so definitely very very happy with them. I did not pay that, I did not pay $159.95 for them, I bought them on sale so you can always wait till a sale to buy these babies. I think I got them for less than 100 uh, but I may be wrong, I can't really remember, it was last year and I bought them for my birthday. I, I believe these are true to size, true to size, um, and yeah, extremely, extremely comfortable boots. I could wear these all day, every day, and I would love it. They look very, very nice, especially if you have leather chaps with them, these will look exactly like tall boots. They look really, really nice. And even on their own, they look really great. So, 100% recommend. Extremely good quality boots for an affordable price. If you would like, if you like this video, let me know and I can, um, I can do a review on some of the other cheaper boots that I've had in the past. Uh, if you were, if you were looking for maybe a cheaper boot, maybe you're start, starting out horse riding. I can also do some videos on um, what to look, what well, what you would need to purchase if you're starting out horse riding on a budget. So I am definitely on a budget and I do not buy things that I don't feel necessary. Obviously we sort of splurged for these. I got them for my birthday although we did get them on quite a sale uh but yeah if you like this please let me know please take a moment to subscribe please request whatever you want to see from me i am sure to make a video if it's something i can do but yeah uh i hopefully this helped you and it wasn't too scatterbrained and crazy i'm sorry i'm tired and this is the second time making this video but I really wanted to get it done for you and uh, I want to start uploading as much as possible but yeah thank you so much for watching I love you all bye, -bye.